Yum, Sayonara. yum, yum. Sayonara. So, chat, we are using all level 6 talents here. We will be starting with the three four-star weapons that I have at R1. So we will begin with the prototype. So we're going to begin with a prototype star glitter. Then we're going to move to the death match and then the black glitter. We're going to test these three. And then we're going to move to these three R5 weapons, more of the gacha ones, right? Dragon's Bane level 80, Lithic Spear level 80, and Favonius R5 at level 80. And then after these, we'll be doing the only two five-star spears that I have, which is Primordial Jade Spear at level 80 and Staff of Homa at level 80. Cool. So, eight weapons today to test, and we will be doing each of them at full HP and low HP. I'm gonna be bullying the crowd, Red is fine quite a bit today, yeah? You're gonna have Pyro Resonance. You do not have Resonance without a full team. I learned that from Mr. Atsu. You do not have Pyro Resonance uh, without a full team. All right, so chat, before we dive into this, uh, I'm currently using Prototype Star Glitter. Attributes, 30K HP, a little bit uh, 800 attack ish 76 crit rate 141 crit damage 190 recharge and 61.6 pyro yeah two crimson three off pieces so these are the stats for this stuff and we're using bennett to break the break the thingy let's go oh wait don't take too much damage okay it's fine oh wait i did that too early i think Relatable art. Okay, chat. I know the artifacts are kind of OP, but listen. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. So 16k. I can't see that number. 8k? So 16k old and 8k charge attack. All right. So chat, we had 16k Q damage. 8k uh, charge attack damage. This is with full HP. And then I'm going to burn. All right. I'll just do two E's. All right. So, chat. This is low HP F2P weapon. Ready? Low HP. Okay. 24.6k. Uh 9k crit. 9.6k. 9.6k crit. So pretty pretty uh pretty massive. I'm gonna charge my ult here. Don't kill me. Okay, so the significance is pretty big, yeah? So we went from 16k. F2P weapon, 8k, charge attack, to 24. So the ult increased by 50% damage about, and the charge attack increased by 1,600, which wasn't that, how much is that? Like 20% charge attack increase? So 16k to 24, 9.6k? Okay, cool. Uh, and that is with my artifacts and the prototype star glitter. Now, the next weapon I want to test is Blackcliff or Deathmatch next. I think Blackcliff might be next because Blackcliff is more F2P than Deathmatch. So I'm going to do Blackcliff next. So this is Blackcliff pull and it's kind of similar, kind of similar to Homa, right? It gives me the crit damage increase with the same amount of crit rate. Um, I have the same amount of HP. So the only thing that changes is whether I got crit damage here. My recharge went from 191% to 150%, so a little bit less recharge, but I think this is recharge is already good enough. So this is gonna be Blackcliff. I, I mean, it should be doing, well, I don't have. Hmm. So with the prototype Star Glitter, I actually get 8% charge attack bonus. So the charge attack might be slightly weaker, but the ulti should be stronger. Probably what the difference is. All right, let's go test. Let's go test full HP. All right, Chad, this is full hp black lift 76 the same stats as the prototype it's just that we have uh, 50 extra crit damage right so we should just be seeing a raw increase in damage huh? all right 
So, Blacklift. Let's go. 19.8k. Expected. Let's crit here. 9.2k charge attack crit. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. I can use these flowers, actually. All right, so this is Blackcliff with under 50% HP. Uh, same stats, yes. All level six talents, C0. Let's go. Why is my camera broken? Okay. Can you guys keep track of the numbers, by the way? There's gonna be way too many numbers that I have to keep track of. I don't know what I'm comparing with or I forget. Okay, here we go. Ulti damage. 29.8k ult. 11.1k uh, charge attack. Pretty insane difference. All right. Back to full HP chat. Uh, ha, ha, ha. That was the black clip. Now we are on to the death match, which gives us 33.5% crit rate and has a little bit of attack percent passive. So with this weapon, my crit rate goes insane, which means I need to switch my mask to a crit damage mask. 10.5%, 9.3. This might be good. Mask for a bit. I don't kind of want to have uh, the same amount of stats relative. So with death match at R1 level 80, I'm having 89 crit rate and 186 crit damage. Which is pretty good. Almost a clear one to two ratio. My energy recharge uh is 133 percent now because my artifact doesn't have recharge on it but i still have 61.6 pyro so i have higher crit rate crit damage is relatively okay and the hp is i think identical all right chat so this is the death match number test um running the same same artifacts just with this this is the different mask this time right these these artifacts are all the same and then C0, level 6 talents. Deathmatch R1, level 80. Full HP. Alright, so this is full HP with Deathmatch. 20k crit. Slightly higher than Blacklift, but that's, I think, expected, right? Uh, 9.5k auto. Or charged. Okay. So, it's expected, though, because we don't have any passive stacks. Not that those matter. Uh, so now we are same stats, except we are low HP hotel, right? Okay, let's test. Ah, stop being annoying. All right, low HP test. 30.6k crit, uh, 11.4k charge crit. So, yeah, I mean, the Black Cliff and uh, Deathmatch are basically the same, right? So, now we're on to the stronger weapons, IMO. Back to full HP. All right, so we just finished, we just finished up Prototype Star Glitter which I think was up to 24k on the Q and up to 9.6 on the charge attack, which was boosted by this 8%, right? And then we have Blackcliff and Deathmatch with both around 29 to 30k Q with 11 to 11.4k charge attacks. Uh, with the next set of weapons, I feel like Dragon's Bane is going to be significantly stronger than both of these, so I want to leave Dragon's Bane last. I think I want to do Lithic Spear first because uh, hopefully we crit on the ulti. If we don't crit on the ulti, I might have to redo it. Because I really want to see crit, crit on the ulti. Alright, so Hu Tall, this is with R5 Lithic Spear. Um, which means that I'm getting 7% crit rate increase, which is the only one that matters. The attack percent doesn't really matter. Um, using uh, the same artifacts as the death match with a crit damage mask and a little bit lower crit rate. Uh, but I get 7% and up to 28%. So we're testing one stack first. So one stack first. Why are you here? <laughs> Why is this guy here? Yes, 
Alright, full HP, one stack, R5 Lithic. 21.9k. 10k charged. That is stronger because this is not low HP. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 we're fine. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to charge my energy chat. <laughs> Don't worry. Lithic Spear with low HP one stack. All right, so this is low HP R1 Lithic, or R5 Lithic Spear one stack test. But if you use Lithic with four party, then yeah, you won't have Bennett. I mean, oh, I'll have double Pyro, huh? Mmm, that's right. So, okay, I'll have to see. Alright, this is low HP test. 33k and 12.3k uh, charge attacks. 33k, 12.3. There's obviously R5 weapon, but yeah. I know it looks weird, but this team is just for four Liyue stack R5 Lithic Spear. So this is R5 Lithic Spear. Um, these are the stats with four stack. Uh, the crit rate is already added in. So there's 28% crit rate and additional 44% attack. I'll have to figure out how to break this shield though. Maybe I can do a pillar first. Oh, not bad. Okay, not bad. Okay, good. Full HP. Why are you over here? Well, time to retest because I didn't crit with 83 per 6. 86. Uh, yep. All right, time to retest, boys. We did not crit. Woo! Let's go. All right, chat. Hopefully, we crit this time. <laughs> Smiley face. Okay. Hopefully, we crit. Yes, 23.4k crit. This is uh, t a 10 point or almost 11k charge attack. And this is with uh, high HP. That's pretty... I think that's a pretty significant increase. I don't actually remember, though. All right, chat. Low HP R5 Lithic. We're getting stronger. The numbers are getting more pog. <laughs> At least that's exciting to see the growth of numbers from F2P weapon all the way up, right? Because we, we started at 24k with the prototype Star Glitter and we're already at like 33k with uh, Lithic Spear. So <laughs> we're, we're climbing the damage ladder. <laughs> all right. So we are low HP Huta with R5 Lithics with four stacks, same stats. And then the team is just rainbow, just four Lithic, uh, four Leah characters. All right, let's go. Ooh. Breaking. Okay, low HP damage. 35k! 13.2k charged. Alright, so 13.2k charged, 35k. So it was about a 8% damage increase. It's about expected, I think. That is about expected, I think. Cool. Alright, so uh, we are going to be running... We just finished Lithic Spear. Next up is Favonius Lance R5. So with the Favonius Lance, I am going to change to a crit rate mask just for consistency purposes. Uh, we're going to be running this one again. So with the Favonius Lance, we are up to 177.8 recharge. But remember the Favonius passive, right? This is the same same stats as the prototype Star Glitter. 76 crit rate with 142 crit damage. Um, same HP. Attack seems to be a little bit higher because it has naturally higher attack, right? 497 versus 449 from the prototype. Uh, it's just that this is just more team utility. R5 Favonius full HP test. Okay. 
we're good and should be lower damage or i just don't crit okay please crit 16.7k i think that's expected though 7.8k auto charge attacks so Favonius is much weaker, right? Because it has no attack passive or anything boosting damage. Um, but it just gives you your ult back faster, which I, might, I don't think it actually matters for her. So. All right. Low HP, Utah, Favonius Lance. Let's go. Oh, this thing is still here. All right, low HP. I'm expecting like 24, maybe. 25k, okay. 25k and 9.4. And I'm not critting. Okay, 9.4, yep. Now we're going to test Dragon's Bane. This is a weapon that I've actually not used for any character ever. But in this particular instance, it might actually be decently useful because of all the stats that she uses. So, Dragon's Bane time. With Dragon's Bane, she has an additional 201 elemental mastery, which means if you do a little bit of vaporize or melt, she'll be doing a little bit more damage if you do nuke, right? Same HP, lower base attack. But 61.6 plus 36%. So we have nearly 100. Uh, all right, full HP. Dragon's Bane test R5. Should be decent damage. I think. All right, please crit. 19.6k crit. Uh, 9.2k charge attack damage with Dragon's Bane. Okay, now we do low HP. And then once we're done with low HP, we'll do the elemental test with the elemental mastery. All right, so low HP, Hutal, Dragon's Bane, R5 test. Please crit. 28.6. 10.7 charge. Isn't this weak weaker than Blacklist? It is, right? Yes. Oh. oh god. Don't kill me. That was R5 Dragon's Bane. So, in order for that weapon to really shine, uh, it looks like uh, you need to use the Elemental Mastery. Alright, damage test. Can I fucking crit, man? Wait, wait, so chat. I just want... I'm just curious. So, with 201 Elemental Mastery, the Vaporize and Melt do 34.9% more damage. So, I think it's actually worth it in this instance to apply Cryo on the cryo regis fine and then do a q melt because i think the damage actually matters like because it the nuke is an additional like whatever maybe 10k to 15k so i think it might actually be a good test just to show that if you do decide to do a more of a bait melt uh dragon's bane actually comes out on top because if this this additional is like this is like two charge attacks right it's just free damage you have the you have the stuff so i'll add diana onto the team then King Blue, thank you for the four months of Prime sub, bud. Welcome back. Much appreciated. No message there. Uh, so... If I were to do Xing Chiu, I don't want to pop ulti, because that'll be not a great demonstration of the damage. I kind of just want to use Mona here. Just to test the... Just to test Hydra. I'm not going to ult with her. I'm just going to auto with her. 
I think that's fine. No, I'm, I'm not going to test Bell. I'm going to only want to test Vaporize because uh, I want to take advantage of both this passive and the Elemental Mastery. If I do Vaporize, I'm not testing the passive. All right, so let's add a water unit to the team to help out with that. Uh, we're going to use Barbara. Very simple. All right, so it's going to be a full HP test uh, with Vaporize, and hopefully I, hopefully I crit. Uh, this is... Uh, the vapor should be doing extra 34.9% damage. Um, and the after damage should be the same. So, full HP test. With Vaporize. Barbara's on Thrilling Tails, is she? No, she's not. Okay, I don't want her to be because I don't want uh, the attack left. Okay, we're good. Okay. Get water. Okay. 39.7. That is with Vaporize. And the same 9.2k charge. That is a nice burst of damage. I think if you can just like proc it. I'm not going to do Vaporize with the charged. Because that's a little hard to test. I'm only doing it for the Q. Okay. So low HP Hutal with Elemental Ma with uh, Vaporize ult. Okay. Uh, so maybe we hit hugely here, but I don't know. Really, I don't know if it's worth it. It's up to you guys if you think it's worth it, um, to run a, like try to vaporize. I mean, vaporize every so often is, is pretty nice, but just trying to nuke one thing might be inconsistent. So let's try it. Okay. Okay. 58k. Damn. Okay. And then 10.7 for all this stuff. So it's actually... Wow. That is pretty significant. Uh, with the... With utilizing elemental mastery. Like, if you can do it, then you get a significant boost in damage, which is pretty insane. So that is Dragon's Bane at near full potential there, right? Utilizing all the passive stats, which is what we want to do. Okay, so chat, we have just finished six of the four-star weapons. Hey, YouTube frogs. If you guys made it to the end of the video here, um, thank you so much for watching the entire thing. Um, this is a first part of two videos. This is only testing the four-star uh, pole arms that we have. There's six of them here that you see. The top three are R1 tests, and the bottom three are Gacha R5 tests. And you can see their damage numbers, with the left being the Q damage and the right being charge attack damage. And it's split up into high HP, which is above 50%, and low HP, which is less than 50%. My personal conclusions from this is that I prefer Deathmatch and Blacklift just because they're consistency. Um, Blacklift damage here is based off of zero stacks, so up to three stacks with more attack. This is zero stack blacklift. Um, I would consider if you decided to pull on the weapon banner and you have a bunch of lithic weapons, but you don't have the staff of Poma, it is also viable, as you can see from the numbers. And if you're focused more on doing a very nice vaporized burst damage, then Dragon's Bane actually does a significant, significant amount of damage, but less consistent than the other ones. So take your pick. Um, I think all of them are technically usable, right? Favonius has team utility. I think Starglare is the only one that is like just truly F2P if you have no other option. But um, thanks again for watching the video, boys, and we'll see you guys next time.